Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's about time for another beer lay beer review, if you ask me. And uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Innocent Gun Rum Finish. It is a Scottish style ale that is um, aged, and well, 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 we're going to talk about it today on Beer Lay. Innocent Gun, based in Edinburgh, brewed in Glasgow, and has only been around since 2003, but has already become the second most popular British beer in Sweden and the most popular British beer in Canada. There's an answer to a Jeopardy question right there for you. Known for their barrel-aged beers, not only is Innocent Gun sold in bars and liquor stores throughout Britain, but also in Innocent Gun-owned brew pubs where they showcase not only their own beers, but local brews and offer some pretty good food to go along with that beer as well. Is this, uh, is this camera actually on this time today? It is. Okay, wonderful. So let's look at this beer. Really nice color. It is, it is ruby red with like a little bit of brown, a little bit of like gold in it. Very clear beer. I think this is, this is one of the prettiest beers that I've ever seen. Really, really nice color, really nice clarity. It even has a little bit of head on it, which for uh, English and Scottish style ales is very very rare. Um, let's uh, let's get a nose on this. Getting some like uh, cherry. Getting some berry flavors. A little bit like uh, smokiness. Let's um, try this puppy out. Not bad. At the beginning, it's kind of smooth and velvety, a little bit sweet, and then as you swallow, and it kind of kind of simmers on your tongue. You're getting a little bit more roasted flavors and you are getting a little bit of heat of, of alcohol. A little bit of berries and a little bit of spice notes to it as well. All in all, I think it's pretty good beer. It's not too dry, but it's also not, not overly good. sweet. It's very well balanced. I think it is a, it's a very, very delicious beer. I would say so. So let's, um, let's talk about actually what this beer is. So Innocent Gun, they are a brewery out of, out of Edinburgh. I already discussed that earlier. And they make or they specialize in barrel-aged beers. So if you go on their website, which I suggest you guys do, you go on all their beers, and the first thing that comes up is oak-aged. Right off the bat, they're, they're showing that they have the oak-aged ales and, and beer. They have their original... Scottish ale that is that is oak aged, and then they have the rum finish. So this thing is actually aged in a rum barrel, an old rum barrel, for a certain amount of time. How it even says on the bottle here, it says for 57 days. So this thing is aged in a rum barrel for 57 days, and in that time it accrues and soaks up all the deliciousness that is of that old rum barrel. So you do do taste a little bit of rum. This this beer is a little bit older. I think I got this back in, in the spring, early summer. So uh, maybe some of those those barrel aged flavors have kind of died off a little bit. I, I'm not tasting a lot of them. Still, not a bad beer. So yeah, these guys do a lot of, lot of barrel aging. And barrel aging is actually kind of like one of the newest uh, trends in the craft brew industry. Pretty much any like great brewery will barrel age stuff. You know, like you have really good breweries, but then like in order to be a really great brewery, you have to barrel age something. This isn't the first barrel aged thing that I've done. I actually have done an Innocent Gun before in episode 21, but I didn't actually talk about the beer a lot. So that's kind of why I'm doing this beer. Uh, the KBS obviously was barrel aged. More than, we're going to talk about the KBS a little bit today as well. So barrel aging really is kind of like the newest and latest kind of trend. It adds a lot of really nice flavor and character to, to a beer. And what is interesting though is what Innocent Gun is doing. They're actually taking a lighter colored ale, so in this case a Scottish ale, which is, is redder in color. It's not a stout, it's not a porter, and they're barrel aging that. And they actually have an IPA, which they barrel age as well. And let's talk about that beer real quickly. So I don't want to distract away from the rum finish. It is a very good, it's a really, really good beer. However, the Innocent Gun Oak Toasted IPA is 
one of the best beers that I've ever had. It is amazing. Now, for some of you guys that have watched my watched my channel before, you might know I'm not a huge crazy IPA type of a guy, but the Innocent Gun Toasted Oak IPA is amazing. It is so good. How good, Mike? It's better than KBS good. I rated it higher on Untap than KBS, so that should say something right there. The rum finish, it's a great beer, and and it should be because if you go on the website, it says the popularity of the rum finish saw its throw off the shackles of a limited edition status to clinch a place in our core range. So this beer was actually just a limited edition release, and now it's a, it's a standard beer on their menu. And I like that too. Also with Innocent Gun, their original barrel age and the rum finish. They do them all the time, so it's not like a special limited edition thing that you can only get your hands on, you know, once a year. It's not going to cost you 8 euros, 10 euros for a bottle. I think I picked this thing up for under 4, which isn't too bad, all things considered. The bottle itself actually is, is really cool. I really like the bottles themselves. Like, look at this thing. There's, there's 3D cast, you know, lettering into the bottle. There is a uh, 3D lettering cast and then you get the barrels up there. There's the Innocent Gun and Edinburgh down here. The label is really kind of like high quality. And again, there's there's gold gold accenting to it. I think, dude, that's got to be some kind of like British Isles type of a thing that they got going on up there. I don't understand that. Uh, cool bottle, cool ideas coming out of Innocent Gun out of Edinburgh. Guys, you should visit Edinburgh. I was up there uh, this summer playing golf. Yep, it is. Like, All right. Good, uh, good. Yep, that's me, by the way, teeing off from Pool 17 at St. Andrew's Old Course, also known as Road Hole. If you ever have a chance to go to Scotland, go to Scotland. If you are a golfer and have a chance to go to Scotland, no, you, don't, you don't have a chance. You make the chance happen. While you guys are in Edinburgh, obviously get some innocent gun. Try out the whiskey up there. I'm not a huge liquor type of a person but the scottish whiskey man do it do it okay. do it mm -hmm. do it all right and you do it bacardi and cola do it do it okay So Innocent Gun was, was founded in 2002, but it says that the beer was originally developed as a way of flavoring the barrels used by distiller William Grant for his ale cast reserve whiskey. Of course, the Scots are trying to, trying to distill whiskey out of this whole thing, right? And the original plan for the beer was to be discarded after this flavored the barrel, but the brewers noted that the process had an agreeable effect on the beer and thus aging the beer became an end itself. That's just like the perfect example of an, an, an accident becoming something amazing. Innocent Gun is independent. They haven't been bought out by InBev or you know some other big brewery, which is spot on. Guys, I, I really do like Innocent Gun. This is, again, this is an endorsement. I'm just trying to trying to spit the truth here. I really like what Innocent Gun is doing. They're, they're barrel aging beers at a, a price that isn't crazy. And they're also barrel aging beers that no one else is barrel aging, right? So. Why not barrel, barrel age an IPA? Why not barrel or rum barrel age? A lot of barrels that breweries use are whiskey or bourbon barrels. Why not use a rum barrel? Again, why not try it out? And it's actually it has a really, really nice, nice character to it. So that has been this review for today. It is the, uh, the Innocent Gun Rum Finish. Can't praise enough. It's not the uh, it's not the best beer I've ever had. That would be the Toasted Oak IPA from these guys. But uh, check this thing out. The rum finish from Innocent Gun. High praises sending their way. And um, that's going to be about it. Follow me on Twitter, Untapped. And as always, make sure you tell your representatives that you support bipartisan common sense gun control legislation. And we will see you guys next time on Be Late. Peace out.